Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So normally on a day like Friday when I have school, I wouldn't post this early. But because it's the end of semester and I have final exams and I finished mine, I thought I would film for you guys. So, I mean it is Friday and I am supposed to film a video for you, but earlier than I normally do on a school day. So, I thought I would talk about... Laura and Almanzo's relationship because I already talked about Mary and Adam, so I might as well talk about Laura and Almanzo. So their relationship is actually completely different. We don't meet Almanzo till the first episode in season six. Which I mean I guess would make sense. They're already, they've been back and we know they've been back in long ago for like a year, maybe more. And he turns out to be Eliza Jane's brother because Laura, Andrew, and Albert are walking back. They stop at the restaurant to look at the help wanted sign. Um, and then a man comes up in the buggy and asks if school is out and if the teacher is still there. Laura is awestruck by his looks. She honestly doesn't look that... In my standards, he isn't the greatest looking. He looks like an average man, which is fine. So she tells, what is this? Maybe it's supposed to be. She tells Adam, she tells them that she forgot something, goes back after them, and then Eliza Jane introduces him as her brother, and that her friend, his friends call him Manny. So she says, okay, see you later, Manly. Then she realizes that she called him Manly. By the end of the first part of the episode, they are, I guess, friends. He calls her Beth, she calls him Manly, and she is madly in love with him. By the second episode, though, things start a little rocky. Um, he tells Manly, she tells Man, she tells Amanda that she is going to take her teacher exam. He gives her a kiss for good luck on the forehead, which apparently Nellie sees. And then, now while they're fighting in the mud, because Nellie told Laura that there wasn't any history on the exam, but that had to do with the previous part where um, Mrs. Olsen invited Almanzo over for supper to find a husband for Nellie, and um, eventually, and it's because it's a Sunday, Mrs. Ingalls agrees not to cook, so Laura decides to cook and puts cayenne pepper instead of cinnamon on the chicken, and Nellie says she'll get even with Laura, which she does by that, and by that time, Laura's fighting in the mud with Nellie, Almanzo saves her. Nellie somehow makes her way back into town and tells um, her mother, who runs into the restaurant and yells at Carolyn in her very Mrs. Olsen way about Laura. And they ask why, and Nellie says that she said that she saw Laura and Almanzo kissing, which she did, and she would tell, which she did. And then Charles and Jonathan... Well, mostly Charles, because after Almanzo, because Almanzo is quite a few years older than her. Of course, by this time, Almanzo is drying Laura's clothes and giving her tea by this. But then there's a knock at the door and to the face. Then Laura explains that he kissed her on the forehead. And then Almanzo said that he would never do anything like that and she's a little girl, which deeply offends Laura because she thinks she's a woman, which... Obviously, by in season six, Laura's fifteen. I'm sixteen. I'm more mature than her. I know that I. I mean, because she said she was a woman and tried acting that made her immature. Laura is somewhat immature, especially when it comes to guys. Where for me, I don't know when it comes to guys, considering that I don't have a boyfriend. I don't have any guy friends. I don't have any crushes or anything. But who knows? And by the end, that, after that episode, they are, you know, still kind of friends. Laura still does kind of have a big crush on him, and when the dances and the circuses and stuff come to town, she tries to invite him. But because he is much older than her and an adult and doesn't realize his feelings for her, he does take out other girls. One particularly that Laura does get back at at the circus, um... And by the episode Sweet 16, when Laura becomes a teacher, Almanzo realizes that he is madly in love with her. And 
at the end of the episode, the couple, they, are, they pretty much declare themselves a couple. Not in front of everyone, but personally. The last episode of the season, Almanzo asks Laura to marry him, and she says yes, but Paul insists they wait two years, which neither of them want to do. And he asks Laura to go away with him, and Laura says that she loves him, but she can't go against what her father wants, which Almanzo kind of takes as, okay, well, it's either me or him, so... He leaves Laura just standing there. And eventually Laura moves to Sleepy Eye to keep in mind of Almanzo without knowing that Almanzo is there because Ma knew. Because he wrote Eliza Jane, who I guess told Ma, who sent Laura to Sleepy Eye. And they don't necessarily work things out at first. By the end of the episode, though, they do work things out. And at Nellie and Percival's wedding, Almanzo. Pa tells Almanzo he can wait one year to marry Laura. Then we come to season seven, in which things are getting ready for the wedding. But then, um, Alonzo, the guy he bought land from, rigs it so that he has to pay, so he can't buy, so he has to pay him back or sell the land, which he does. And then Alonzo decides to postpone the wedding because he can't provide and have his own place, which I don't know why they didn't just move in with their sister, with the sister, but I guess he didn't really want that. He also didn't want them living in the Saudi. So then Eliza Jane, who is dealing with her own relational problems, puts her feelings aside and does something for her brother and says she move, she'll move to sleep. She's moving somewhere uh, to St. Louis with the ranch hand that he hired without telling Amanzo that he actually was leaving her to marry someone else, which he never was really in love with her. And after eventually Charles finds out, after, well, after that Eliza Ch Jane tells Amon, so he runs off after the stagecoach to get Laura, then they run to Sleepy Eye to, because Mary's there, and Ma and Pa are celebrating Mary and Adam's anniversary, so then they get married. And when she, Charles does find out about what Eliza Jane did, and she asks Eliza Jane, he asks Eliza Jane why, and she said that her brother, she wants to see her brother happy, and that does include sacrificing her own stuff. So she does, and Eliza Jane does sit on her own, I like that. I mean, she is kind of pushy and stuff, but she really does care about her brother. Halfway through season seven, or at least near the end, I'm not sure where, Laura and Almanzo find out they're expecting their first child. Um, and halfway through season 8, they have a child. But of course, that episode, which, um, if you remember Days of Sunshine, Days of Shadow, that episode is just hit after hit after hit. So, Almanzo gets diphtheria, he has a stroke, there's the tornado. Well, first, then Laura, then Rose is born, then there's the tornado, and then there's all this stuff. And it just keeps, seems to be getting darker before it gets brighter, but then it does because Amonzo finally picks himself up and decides to buy, to provide for his family and rebuild the house. I won't get into details of that episode because that could technically be a whole other video. And then we come to season 9 in which they take in their niece, Jenny, have a son, but he does it, dies of crib death, and eventually become business partners in running the boarding house. So this relationship is actually quite a bit different than Mary and Adam. Mary, by the time her and Adam were engaged in dating, or she was like 500 miles away, far away from her parents' reach. But also, Laura it was her pa's little girl, like, you know, the tomboy and all that, and he didn't really, wasn't really like, ready to let her go, especially as someone a whole lot older than her. But he did, and... Everyone is grateful. And this is also different than Mary and Adam because this is actually a real life love story. And in real life, Almanzo was 10 years older than Laura. And he did ask, but he asked Charles for Laura's head. And I'm not sure about Laura's side story. I only know what my mom told me, and that's what my mom told me. So, that's pretty much it for this video. Be sure to give this video a like, subscribe, and comment down below on who your favorite. And what your favorite relationship is in Little House on the Prairie. And hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. And stay tuned for tomorrow's video where I'll be talking about Ma and Pa. Alright, see you.